Well, this year marks Guadalupe's 75th anniversary as a city, but this weekend celebration was canceled because of the recent COVID spike. And News Channel reporter Patricia Bartolotti shows us how far Guadalupe has come as a community. A town called a diamond in the rough became incorporated as a city in 1946. Since then, Guadalupe has turned into a world of cultures. We see Japanese, we see Swiss, we see the Chinese, we see the Filipinos, we see the Mexicans. Where city leaders say anything is possible, from renovations of this royal theater. It's exciting because it'll be owned by the city and kind of operated as a performing arts center. To brand new housing. 800 new homes to be built over the next five years, 350 already built. <laughs> I did my I'm sorry, see, there. like now it's all okay, stage. I feel funky. The vibe is so chill. The residents here have been so welcoming. I've been here for four years in November, and it's just a wonderful place to raise a family. As the population of 8,200 continues to grow, within the next five years or so, it will get to probably no more than 12,000. Guadalupe services are also expanding. In 75 years, our police department has grown, our fire department's grown. Our, all our public safety uh, divisions have increased. One of the highlights for Guadalupe is how the police department is overseeing one of the safest cities in the state of California. That's a real proud thing to have. We have people want, they want to come here, not only coming here to enjoy this place, but you know you're going to be safe also. Residents felt proud when T-Mobile selected Guadalupe as one of 10 finalists. It was quite uh, uh, impressive because we had a lot of positive PR in terms of what we're doing in Guadalupe, which ties into our 75th year anniversary. But beyond the projects, the growth, the recognition, this community sees themselves as a small city. We've got a lot of people who care about the community greatly. They're invested in the community. It's multi-generational. With a big heart. Uh, we're very excited. It's an opportunity for other areas outside of Guadalupe to, to kind of realize that it's not just a place you drive through. It's a place you can stop and you can see and, and spend some time. In Guadalupe, I'm News Channel reporter Patricia Martellotti.